So today I'm going to show you all of the fun stuff that I got at the Just Between Friends event last night. Okay, so because Ian is sitting right here and he really wants to play with it, I'm going to go ahead and show you this first so we can get it out of the way and I can hand it to him. So this was... Ian. Ian is sick, by the way. I'm sorry if you hear coughing. Um, but this was Ian's choice. Uh, whenever we go to these things, we let Ian choose one item, and this is what he chose. Uh, it is Angry Birds Knock on Wood Game. This retails for $19.99, and it was on sale for $1.50. So, and, uh, yep, it says all the pieces are included, and we checked. Everything is included, even the manual, so that... <coughs> my poor baby so that was a great uh, deal on this item and basically you just like use these little pieces and you can like build up something and then you put the little piggies on it and these little stars and things and then you use this like launcher <coughs> thingamajig and you it comes with three birds a black bird a yellow bird and then a little red bird and you put them in this little slingshot thingy and then you like pull it back and it like flings the bird at the thing that you built and you're supposed to knock it over. I've never played Angry Birds uh, on my phone or anything so I don't really know too much about the game but for a dollar fifty I was, I was fine with him getting it. So. Okay. So total with uh, toys and shoes and clothes, everything together, it came out to $86.94, and that includes the $6.44 of taxes. So I was only able to find one pair of pants. It's these. They are size 5T. The brand is Levi, and they were $5. So I think this is the most expensive clothing item that I bought. Uh, when I went in, I had a budget for myself. It was no more than $2 for shirts and no more than $3 for pants. That was my goal. Um, but since this was the only pair of pants I could find, I went ahead and just paid the 5 for them. Um, I don't love these jeans. I don't like how they're it's like skinny at the top and it like bell bottoms out down here. Um, I usually like to get him more fitted jeans, like like a dark wash distressed boot cut like that's the kind of jeans i love for him to have um these look more like painter's jeans or something but he needed a new pair of jeans so i'm probably still gonna go ahead and buy him some new ones at old navy because those are the kind i like on him i did get a ton of shorts though which is what i mainly went in there for because we live in uh california and it's hot and so he's not gonna be wearing pants that much anyways i did get a few pairs of shorts. So the first pair of shorts I got were these. The brand is Children's Place, so that's a really, really good brand. Um, they're size six and they were $3.50. I got the exact same pair. <laughs> so again, Children's Place, and these were from the same consigner as the other ones, but these were size five, so she must have liked them so much she bought them in two sizes, so I liked them so much I bought them in two sizes too. He can wear these now, and he can wear these when he grows. And the 5T ones were $3, so right on budget. I got these, and the brand is Big Fish by Sweet Potatoes, Inc. I have no clue who that is, but they're just some nylon little shorts. They're very thin and flowy, so perfect for a hot summer day. They have a cute little pocket right here, and they look brand new. They don't look... They don't look like they were ever worn, and they were only $2. Couldn't leave them there. The next pair of pants is a little bit dressy. Uh, they're like dressy shorts, and they have like this pattern, which I'm pretty sure that you can't see. Um, but let me see if I can maybe... There you go. So it's got like lines going down, and then it's got this checkerboard pattern. And these... This brand is Rip Curl, and... It's size 4 to 6. Weird sizing. Oh, no. Okay. It's 5T on the tag in here. So these are 5T, and these were $4. So $1 over my price, but they were dressy shorts. So I figured if we had a <coughs> wedding to go to this summer, um, or just maybe Easter, if it's really hot on Easter, he can wear these dressy pants with a dressy shirt. And the last pair of shorts I got were these. They're Carter's brand, size 6. Um, I got these because they have the um, 
the adjustable waist on the inside and I love that and these were three dollars so right on target with my price point so those were all of the bottoms I got so total it's one two three four five six bottoms total including the jeans okay on to the okay. Onto the long sleeve shirts. I didn't get too many long sleeve shirts because um, I just bought him a bunch of 5T long sleeve shirts from Old Navy. And while they are a little bit, um, they're not super long on him. They fit kind of just perfectly. If he grows too much more, they're going to be too small. But I didn't want to get too many long sleeves because it is getting hot here. But I got this one. The brand is Jumping Beans, which I believe is a Target brand. The size is five six, and these were, and this shirt was three dollars. So I just thought it was cute. It just had some little <coughs> sports things on it. This shirt is something that I would buy for Ian. It has like a little um, dirt bike on the front. Uh, Carter's brand and size six, so that's good. It's a little, it's gonna be a little bit big on him right now, but he's growing, and so yeah. And the price was $3 for this long sleeve. And the last one I got because I was looking for mostly orange clothes. Neil's favorite color is orange. And he loves when I dress Ian in orange. I could not find a lot of orange because it was such a small selection. But I did find this long sleeve shirt. And it just says rock and roll. So I do like that. Uh, this is Children's Place. So great, um, great brand. And size 5'6". And it was only $3. I love when I find brands like Children's Place uh, and things like and Gymboree. Love those. Okay, so that was one, two, three long sleeve shirts. Then I got one, two, three, four, five short sleeves. I wanted short sleeves, so I'm glad I got five. I wish I could have got a little bit more, but um, and they did have a lot of short sleeves. They were priced kind of high. Like one short sleeve shirt was like five dollars, and I just couldn't spend five dollars on a used you know short sleeve shirt now this is my probably my favorite shirt that i bought it's got this like embroidered uh plaid in the center this is very like children's place gymboree ish looking and it says i dig my dad and it's got a little um i don't know what you call this construction thing what do you know what this is ian with the scoop no is it i don't know like a a scoop thing on both sides <laughs> um and this is carter's brand and size five and it was 250 so great price i also got this shirt it looks brand new never worn uh the brand is city college by wes and willie never heard of it size four six and two dollars so this shirt looks humongous like, it looks like i could oh my gosh i could totally wear this this is my size. This is going to be huge on Ian, but he can grow into it. Um, I also grabbed this. This is something that I would have got for him. Now, I do not like Star Wars. Don't hate me. I've never fully watched it because it just bores me out of my mind. Um, I do not like Star Wars, but Neil and him love watching Star Wars. So I got him this little Star Wars shirt, size 6, and it was only $2. And you can't usually get... Um, like Star Wars and Disney shirts for super cheap so I was so happy to find this so this last one that I found not in love with either shirt but it was such a great price it was two dollars for a pack of two so it was only a dollar a shirt that's why I bought it I really don't like either of these shirts okay with this shirt I just think it's kind of busy with all of the colors I probably wouldn't you know <coughs> choose something like this also it's black and you know it's hot outside in the sun and it's gonna attract heat but it was only a dollar and then um, let's see it says set of two first wave brand t-shirts one is a size four five and one is a size five six but both fit at a size five okay and then the other shirt I really don't like this one I do not like the flames and stuff but again it was only a dollar and if I really don't like it I can sell it so those are the shirts we got him and then uh, as for bathing suits because he is outgrowing his old bathing suits I got him this one Cherokee brand and it's just a brown and orange so pretty cute and it's size 5t and it was three dollars 
And then this was kind of a, while I was standing in the really, really long line that lasted almost an hour, um, I kind of saw this while I was in line, so I grabbed it. But it is a uh, Disney Toy Story swim trunks and the, what do you call this? The rash guard shirt. So Ian loves Toy Story, so I figured he would like this. And you can always use a rash guard. This was really, this was actually, sorry, this was the most expensive thing I bought. It's $6, so basically three a piece, so not bad. And it's size 4T, but it actually kind of looks big, so just through looks I could tell that it would fit him. And then the last clothing item I bought was this. It is some jammies, and they are in terrible shape. I think I was just so like, I gotta have one pair of jammies. I went in there wanting lots of jammies because he's outgrown all of his pajamas. I wanted lots of pajamas, and they had none hardly in that section. And I found this one, and I grabbed it, and I just threw it in my bag and bought it, but it is in very bad shape. Um, yeah, there is a huge, a huge black stain. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a huge black stain on the pants and there's a big hole in the pant leg right there and there's another hole in the pant leg right there. Yeah, the pants are just covered in holes and stains and, oh, the shirt has a pretty big hole in it as well, and all of the stitching is ripped and coming apart. You can see it's just it's just ripping and coming apart. So this was a very bad purchase. It was only two dollars. It's five. Too much, right? is it clean? Yeah. Um, it was only five T. He'll get a couple wears out of it, but I don't think this is gonna last more than two or three washes because it is just falling apart. I do not know how this passed their screening. Usually they're very, very good about their screening and holes and stains do not make it, but this one seemed to pass through. But uh, yeah, $2. This is probably one of my favorite things I found. It is a Melissa and Doug brand giant fire truck floor puzzle. How cute is this? It normally retails for $13. I got it for $5 and all of the pieces, I'm gonna open it for you. All of the pieces are huge. This is gonna be a big puzzle. Ian loves puzzles. It's 24 pieces, so I think he can do this one by himself. And yeah, the box is kind of grody and nasty. It's got like greasy food stains on the inside. And uh, the bottom has, it looks like frosting. <laughs> but the puzzle itself looks like it's in perfect shape. So that's all I care about. And it's Melissa and Doug, so very happy about this purchase. The next purchase I made, it was kind of an impulse buy while I was standing in line, was this, um, it's a little fishy, magnetic fishy set. So it comes with a fishing pole, which has a tiny little cute worm on the end. And then it comes with three fishes and they have magnetic mouths. So I bought this because I saw it at Target and I was actually gonna purchase it and I can't remember how much it was at Target. I wanna say it was between 10 and $15. Well, they were selling it for $2, and it looks in perfect shape. So I went ahead and got him this $2 bath toy. And then this little rinky-dinky thing, which is like chipping and peeling, but it was only $2, and I thought it was kind of genius. You put the box sippy cups in here, and then that way they don't squeeze them. Now, normally I peel up the ends, and I tell him to hold the wings so he doesn't spill it, but we go to Starbucks a lot every day, maybe every other day. And Ian always gets the apple juice box. And even though I tell him to hold the wings, he's three turning four and I'm just always thinking that he's gonna squeeze it. So um, we're gonna leave this in the car for his Starbucks drinks. And for $2, I thought it was a really good investment. Uh, the next thing I got is not child related at all. I just saw this and I thought it was adorable and so I got it. It is this little bathtub like, Thing and it's got pearls all over here. It's so pretty. Look at that. Um, so I just got it to decorate my bathroom, um, my guest bathroom. So, and this was four dollars. It just says silver wire bathtub. I don't know. It just I thought it was cute. And then, okay, this was kind of a future baby splurge. Now I have the baby bullet, and when I bought the baby bullet, they didn't have this yet. This came out after like we were almost done with pureeing his food, so I didn't see a need to buy it. But um, since we are trying for a second baby, and I do plan on making that baby's food as well, I went ahead and got the 
baby bullet turbo steamer it was only ten dollars i don't know how much these retail for um if i i'll look it up before i post this video and i'll put the price right here it. uh so i could put the fresh babies and everything in here and then once it's all steamed i take them and i put them in the baby bullet so ten dollars i thought why not is that it okay so the last two things that i bought were shoes i got him one pair of regular shoes and one pair of um sandals i thought these sandals were just too cute they're circo brand which is what target they're size 10 which is the next size up from where he is currently he's currently in a size 9 and they're just like little beachy boy little flip-flops like so cute they look like little southern california man flip-flops so he just had to have these and they were three dollars and fifty cents so i just i really wanted these and then the last thing i got him were these smart fit brand brown dress shoes size 10 and a half and yeah they're just brown leather dark brown leather shoes um which i thought were adorable and so i got them and they were three dollars and fifty cents so pretty cheap shoes that is everything i got at the just between friends baby and children's consignment event um i do feel like i still need a few things i definitely need more jammies i want to buy two ish more long pairs of pants because it does get cold here at night even though it's hot during the day and i'd really like some more preppy cute little um t-shirts but i think for the most part we're good on this we don't need anything else but i'd like to get a few more things for him um but yeah so i hope you enjoyed let me know if you are going to a just between friends event i would love to know you know if you make a haul video what you got now on an unrelated note kind of related to the baby bullet future baby this i guess um so little ttc update um i am at the end of my two week wait i it is saturday and i am due tuesday um so just a few days shy of my period coming and i am not really feeling so pregnant like mm, i don't know i just don't feel pregnant and i have had some cramps i don't know not not heavy cramps just very very light cramping and I feel very bloated and last night when we got home I did take a test now it wasn't first morning urine like you're supposed to use and I hadn't been like holding my pee or anything I just like downed a soda and it was nighttime and I took a test so and it was only 90 PO so I know it was really early but it was negative so I don't know I've never taken a test um and gotten a positive that early but um, every time that I've actually been pregnant, the first time when I tested, I was, I think, a week late. And then the second time I got pregnant, which is with my little Ian here, uh, it was the day I was due that I tested. And then um, I was either like 12 or 14 days past ovulation. And then this last time that I was pregnant, I think it was like the day before my period was due or something. So I've never gotten a positive. I've never been pregnant and tested that early and got a positive. But I am just not feeling pregnant this month you guys i don't know fingers crossed still i mean i'm not out of the game if i do not get my period by tomorrow which is sunday i'll be 11 dpo tomorrow um if i don't get my period then i will be testing monday morning with first morning urine at 12 days past ovulation so uh i guess we'll see then um but anyways i hope y'all are having a wonderful day and i will talk to you later bye